continuing coverage now on the George Birch homicide trial. Today, parts of the testimony centered around Birch's arrest. NBC 26's Matt Jarko is live at the Brown County Courthouse tonight with more. Matt. Stacy, investigators told the jury a DNA sample found on Nicole Vanderheiden's sock matched a profile from George Birch. That was the first time investigators were able to connect George Birch to Vanderheiden's death. So they wanted to then find out uh, much more about the man tied to this investigation and his ties to the Green Bay area. They say they found Birch at a Green Bay home, put him under surveillance, and then later arrested him. Birch, though, was not the first person arrested in Vanderheiden's death. Previously, we learned Doug Dietrich was, and investigators described why they released him after spending a few weeks in jail. All these pieces of evidence that we thought we had, um, you know, turned out to be, turned out to have answers for them. That evidence, a suspicious pair of shoes, smudges on Vander Heiden's car, and evidence found outside of Dietrich Street. But later on in the afternoon, we learned some of that evidence would be tied to George Birch, specifically a black cord that could have been used to kill Nicole Vander Heiden. That found matches for Birch's DNA profile, as well as several spots on Vander Heiden's body. At the Brown County Courthouse, Matt Jarko, NBC 26.